Hello, welcome to my channel, Motivated and Inspired. My name is Mimi Fit, and this is Motivated and Inspired. Today, I'm here to inspire you again with another brilliant story. Um, I want to share with you some of my failures, or oh, some failure. Technically, it's a failure, but for me, in my books, it's a lesson. Now, we're gonna talk business, all right? So. Let's go straight to it. If you have been following me or be watching almost all of my videos, then of course you are aware that before I came to Spain, I was having my own business. I was having my own spa with workers and i left it behind or i closed it down and relocated spain now i want to share with you what or why i closed it down i made an error or not technically an error it was just that uh my expectation didn't meet the reality so i wasn't getting um the figures that i was supposed to get at the time so yeah, I want to share it with you. I feel like great successful people, it would be nice and it would be very encouraging and very inspiring if they come out there and, and share their story, uh, especially uh, the mistakes they made, the errors that they made or the failures they encountered was on their journey. Now, I wouldn't consider myself a successful person, but of course, definitely, I'm far away from yesterday, I'm far away from years ago, I'm far away from months ago, so I have progressed, and I know I am going to accomplish the height that I want to reach, but I want to grow with you, so I want to start sharing this, this um, failures and successful stories, and things that work for me, things that didn't work for me, so, um, to help you stay motivated, to help you stay encouraged, to help you know that you're not alone on this journey and you're not the first person to um, uh, go through it, you're not the first person to encounter it, other people have been through it and they have made it, so you too can make it definitely. So, um, I started my business after six months, six months of uh, changing my career and having experience into it. I figured out I could do it by myself by being a freelance. After being freelance, I felt, okay, I have more clients who wants to come to me. So as a therapist, what's the best way? I need to have my spa and also I cannot service all the clients that come to me. So then I need workers, I need people to help me serve my clients. So. I decided to open up uh, a spa and my calculation was to open it in a very uh, busy area, an area that is well equipped with rich people, a spa, so I have people coming to me, people who understand the need and the benefits of massage, people who love to go um, to the spa and give themselves a treat, all right? So I pick a perfect area, which is East Legon in Accra. It's a very amazing um, neighborhood to be in. So yeah, it's where you find our footballers, experts, uh, government workers, our celebrities, most of them are around East Legon. So yeah. I got a place in a four-star hotel. The name was Royal Richester Hotel in East Legon. And it was amazing. Even in Europe, I haven't seen anything like that hotel. Well, not the services. Well, my experience in Spain, the services are not as good as well. But the building, it was an apartment um, suit plus the hotel and it was all in one compound lot of space everything was well built because the owners were living outside so they had their vision they had the idea and they put the place it was amazing so it was an inbuilt spa of which they were not able to manage so i as a therapist with experience it was easy for them to uh, rent it out for me now I was paying in dollars at the time and if you convert uh, the amount I was paying it was 3,000 um, cities 3,000 Ghana cities for a spa 
it was worth it. It was six rooms. One room for uh, body scrubbing and steaming, really beautiful. It was a small room with a, a stone bed. On top there are showers that drips on you after scrubbing. It was amazing. And then we had the, the bathroom, the shower room for the clients. And then we have two rooms with jacuzzi, one for couple and one is just you want to be in the jacuzzi, relax. I put in some screen in there so you're in the jacuzzi, you're watching some TV, some cool program and you're relaxing. And then the other two rooms, um, we had individual massage cab uh, cabinets or individual massage rooms and the last room I was using for my laundry. And then we had their office, my office in there and a space to keep all our stuff and another space for um, the workers. And then we had a big waiting room which was, um, uh, yeah, it was the wait waiting room. Uh, it had a um, water fountain, very relaxed, so you sit there waiting for your massage time. And then there is this water dripping, beautiful music at the background, everything was nice. And then on the house, at the outside there was uh, the receptionist area. Okay, so it was, it was somehow worth it uh but my calculation was wrong why i was charging uh between 80 to 100 cities for massage in 2013 to 2014 i started in 2013 and i closed it in 2014 exactly i think after one year one month um so i was charging 100 US cities the services was so great because i love it this is it's one of my passion and one of the industry that I've worked in for a very long time at my age now. So I loved it. I customized everything. Everything was signature. I sent the services we provide, the products we use. I handmade most of our scrubs and the oils I buy them from expensive shops, not because of the prices, but because of the quality, right? Um, and some of the products were coming, most of my products were coming from outside Ghana because um, uh, Ghana doesn't really understand uh, the, the benefit of massage. You know, as a whole, I mean, so it's not so easy to have companies that are manufacturing products that will be used for um, spa therapies and stuff. So most of the products are coming from outside, which means that I'm buying products in euros, in pounds, and in dollars, converting it into the CDs. That's a lot of money. So 100 CDs was, was a, definitely a right uh, price. Now, my idea was if I could get clients my own client that i already have coming to me and then clients coming from the hotel then the new client that, that i will get all sum up i would definitely be able to pay my rent pay workers and still have some profit okay everything was 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 put in place i started this business from zero so i had to buy they didn't have my side table it was just a room okay and uh, the installation was there but i had to buy the massage tables the equipment i'll use for fascia and all of that so from zero i bought everything and so you know it's not easy getting all this product price is high now I was, my clients were coming, I was getting new clients, but I was not getting clients from the hotel. Why? That is the mistake I made. I did not read reviews and investigate very much about the hotel. The hotel is beautiful, but the management was poor and that was affecting their services, the services you give. And once you have bad review on Google, no one is going to come to you. So they had like very less people coming, like very, very, very less um, people coming to the hotel to stay. So if they don't have guests coming to the hotel, how am I going to sell my business to those guests? So I wasn't making, at the end of the month, I was making um, 4,000 to 6,000 cities every month. That was like amazing. 
Gwe, like making 4,000 to 6,000 cities a month in 2013 to 2014 in Ghana. Like, that was amazing, right? But I have to pay my rent, which was 3,000 um, cities. Then I had to pay my workers. Like, I have to pay my workers, okay? And I was, I was treating my workers so good. So for instance, um, I was paying 50% of their lunch, okay? And that's also helped my business because by this, they don't have to get out of the building, going to spend time to look for food. If you know East Legon, I mean, if you're from Ghana, you, you know East Legon very well, you know, it's not so easy to find a chop bar or a, um, a local food vendor. You have to go to the restaurant, which is ridiculously expensive compared to um, the salary rate in Ghana. So. I was doing that and so I have a lot like bills to pay and then the product you know <laughs> the cost of the product that I'm using like uh, income against cost expenses I wasn't making profit and I wasn't paying myself and I was the one working the most okay because it's, it's my business so I was working as a manager and I was working at the same time as a marketer and I was working as a therapist also and again i was doing mobile services at the same time if people call me to um give them services in the hotel in their homes I, I i don't allow my workers to go i go myself so i was working a lot but i wasn't even paying myself and at the same time i wasn't making profit at least if i'm not paying myself that's one worker who is very contributive we are not paying so we should be able to make income no i wasn't i wasn't making it right I wasn't making it because if you calculate it, I make let's say I make six thousand and I pay thousand, three thousand, the rest of the three thousand for workers. So I wasn't, and this is uh, how come I decided I, I I I needed to quit. And somebody will say, why didn't you look for a place in another place in East Lagos? I was. I was so much into, I'm keen about the installation, you know, so starting on my own, I wouldn't have the installation that they already had and that will, I would need a lot of investment to put the installation in place and I wasn't able, I wasn't at the stage of being able to buy um, a, a shop or a house and convert it into a spa. If I'm going to rent and reconstruct everything and my my contract ends it was, for me it was not worth it you know so the best was just um being in the hotel because it had the installation and a lot of other benefits that was um, accessible like they had a big uh, parking lot so it's easy for my clients to come in they will park and then they'll be at safety it was great but i wasn't making uh the numbers that i was supposed to make because I just failed to do a research, a good research and see that that hotel, even though they have all that they had, it wasn't the best option. Most important point, they were supplying me with electricity and water. One of the reasons why uh, my rent was so high because at the time 2013 2014 there was a drastic um power cut out in ghana so there were days without two days or one day without electricity in particular areas it was load shared sharing so they were the best option they had uh water i my i had water running every day and in my line of business I need water running like 24-7 and I need electricity running for 24-7. I don't know how you're gonna do a massage without electricity. Without AC, come on. So this was it, my fault, my fault, right? But I wouldn't say it's a failure, it's a lesson. I enjoyed it, I had an experience, I learned and I learned what steps and what um, research to do. The next time I want to start a business, I have to, focus on uh, and, and investigates in every stage of the business you know the location who i'm working with what must be provided uh my targeted clients what their expectation is what they appreciate what sells more all of that so 
I just want to share this quick one with you if you're in Ghana um, and you want to start your business or any part of the world it's amazing to start your own business it's a different kind of experience different kind of personal growth that you're going to gain but please make sure to do your research very very well so you don't end up like me uh, yeah like <laughs> okay so this is it have a beautiful day and I will catch you in the next video Bye. Stay motivated and inspired.